Hi, a little while ago I made a film about the conditional tense and in that film I was focusing on the second conditional and I said if I would have one pound for every time I hear this I would be a very rich woman. The thing is if I would have is wrong. It is bad English and a lot of people say it, including my daughters, which is really irritating. I say, don't speak internet, speak English. Now, since I made that film, I have been analysing the English language like I do. And I have realised that we do, in fact, say, if I would have, or if I would see, or if I would do, just not with the conditional tense. So I thought I would make this second film in order to prevent any confusion. So just to be crystal clear, we can never say, if I would go to bed late, I would be fine the next morning. This is the conditional tense, where we have an if clause and a main clause. And the main clause depends on the if clause. We can never, in the conditional tense, say if I would do, etc. A clause is simply a part of a sentence that contains a subject and a verb. And in the conditional tense, we have two clauses, an if clause and a main clause. We cannot say if I would drink more water, my skin would be softer. We have to say, if I drank more water, my skin would be softer. We cannot say, if I would work harder, I would get better grades. We have to say, if I worked harder, I would get better grades. We take the verb one step backwards after the word if. If I would work becomes if I worked. If I would drink becomes if I drank. We can use if I would have or if I would see or if I would do when we are using verbs of doubt. Let me explain what I mean. Three verbs of doubt that I use a lot are I do not know, I don't know, I am not sure, I'm not sure, and I doubt. In the sentence, I do not know if I will go to bed late, I do not know, I don't know, is the main clause. And the if clause is if I will go to bed late. However, the main clause, I do not know, does not depend on the if clause. So, I don't know if I will go to bed late just means maybe I will go to bed late. I don't know. Now, I don't know is the present simple because we're talking about now. Now, if we take the present simple one step backwards, it becomes, I did not know if I would go to bed late. So this is when we have, if I would go. Because we've taken, I do not know, one step backwards to make, I did not know, I didn't know, if I would go, which is will one step backwards. So I don't know if I will go to bed late becomes I didn't know if I would go to bed late. We can also say I didn't know if I'd go to bed late. In the sentence I am not sure if I will have time to do the shopping we have the main clause, I am not sure, and the if clause. The main clause does not depend 
on the if clause. I am just not sure if something will happen. And if we take I am not sure one step backwards, it becomes I was not sure if I would have time to do the shopping. We can contract the sentence to say I wasn't sure if I'd have time to do the shopping or we can say I was not sure if I would have time to do the shopping. In the sentence I doubt if I will see him at school. I doubt is the main clause and then we have the if clause but it is not conditional and if we take I doubt one step backwards it becomes I doubted if I would see him at school. So again we have if I would see in the if clause but it's not conditional. We can contract the sentence to say I doubted if I'd see him at school. I hope this film has cleared up any confusion you might have had about the conditional tense. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.